from Alex Cora's middle school principal's office, who first heard him say, but all the smart kids were cheating too. This is Kurt Berglund with Pine Tar Baseball 2010's edition. Today, the 2018 Red Sox at the 2011 Rangers in a game that promises to score runs and maybe lots of them. But two aces will be opposing each other in this one as well, so we don't know what's going to happen. Let's look at the lineups for the 2018 Red Sox. Leading off in right field, it's Mookie Betts. Betting second, left field, Andrew Benatendi. Betting third, the DH, J.D. Martinez. Betting fourth, the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Betting fifth, at first base, Mitch Moreland. Betting sixth, the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Betting seventh, the third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. Betting eighth, the catcher, Christian Vasquez. And betting ninth, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr., on the mound for the Red Sox, Chris Sale. For the homestanding 2011 Texas Rangers, leading off second baseman Ian Kinsler. Batting second, shortstop Elvis Andrews. Batting third would be left fielder Josh Hamilton. Batting fourth, the DH, Michael Young. Batting fifth, third baseman Adrian Beltre. Betting six, the catcher, Mike Napoli. Betting seventh, the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Betting eighth, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Betting ninth, the center fielder, Craig Gentry. And on the mound for the Texas Rangers, American League champions in 2011, it's C.J. Wilson, the left-hander. He is a B and C hurler at home. And he will face the Red Sox here in the first inning. We're ready to go, so let's do it. Let's get it on. Mookie Betts, Andrew Benatendi, and J.D. Martinez leading off for the Red Sox in the first inning. It's a 17, and that's a base hit to left for Betts, and he is aboard. He's got speed, and he's ready to run. Let's see when they send him, if they send him, when they send him. Ben Attendi stands in the left-handed batter's box against C.J. Wilson. And that's an uh-oh for Red Sox fans. That's a 60. A ground ball to first. That's gloved by Moreland. He's going to go to Andrews, back to Wilson, and that is a double play right off the bat in the first inning. That's a gut buster. J.D. Martinez, therefore, comes to bat with two outs and nobody on in the first. And that's a 75, and that's a ground ball to short where Andrews gloves it, and he will throw to Moreland, and that retires the Red Sox in the first inning. We go to the bottom of the first. We got no score in Texas. Chris Sale finishing his warm-up pitches. Sale is an A-plus, A, A-plus, A-plus on the road. He's ready to go after Ian Kinsler. See which of these offenses can get going first. 76 is a fly ball to right, and that's going to be Betts for one down. Next up, Elvis Andrews, the shortstop. 279 in 2011. Pitch to Elvis. That's a 14. That's a base hit to right field. Elvis goes the other way, and he's aboard. He's ready to run as well. Got some speed. Vasquez can throw. Christian is a minus 9 behind the plate, so give you a little bit of pause. They're going to let Hamilton bat here. Sale, the pitch home. To Josh is an 86. That's a fly ball center field. Jackie Bradley Jr. back a few steps, but will make the catch. And that's two down 
And now Michael Young with two outs and Andrew still on first base. The pitch is a fly ball to center. And now JBJ comes in a few steps and he'll make the catch. And we've had a scoreless first inning. We go to the second and it'll be Bogarts, Moreland, and Kinsler for the Red Sox against C.J. Wilson, the left-hander for Texas. 58 is a ground ball to first, gloved by Moreland. He's going to take it unassisted, and that's one down. Mitch Moreland stands in now for the Red Sox. <clears throat> Some overlap, as you can hear on the players for both teams. Kinsler, Moreland, two of them. Uh, 74 is a ground ball to third. That's gloved by Beltre. He's going to throw to Moreland, and that's two down. And Ian Kinsler for the Red Sox stands in. He hit 240 in 2018 with a 301 on base percentage. That's a 97. That's a line shot at Andrews, and that'll retire the side. So we've played one and a half. We're still scoreless in Texas. For the Rangers. Uh, for the Rangers, losers in seven to the Cardinals in the World Series in 2011. It's Beltre, Napoli, and Cruz ready to do damage, hoping to do damage off sale. And Beltre lines it to right for a base hit. Base runners abound, but no runs yet. Napoli stands in. Good double play target if Sale can get him to hit it on the ground. Chris, not really a ground ball pitcher. 52 smoked him with the heat. Upstairs, and Napoli could not catch up. Nelson Cruz stands in. One out, one on. Big time power. Thirty-two is ball two to Cruz. And that is a called strike three. Nelson doesn't like it, but he doesn't have to. He's going to grab some bench, and Mitch Moreland will come to the plate with two outs, and Beltre still on first. They've been waiting for something big to happen. Line shot caught by Nunez, and that'll retire the Rangers in the second. We go to the third, and we're still scoreless in Texas. Bottom third of the Red Sox order coming. Be Nunez, Vasquez, and Bradley coming on for Boston. Boston has had one hit. It was a race on a double play. Wilson has faced the minimum. 39 is a strike three called for Nunez. Wilson has one strikeout on the evening. Christian Vasquez standing in, 207 in 2018. He's in there for his glove, and it's a good glove it is. Fly ball left field, Hamilton with room, and that's two down, and Jackie Bradley Jr. stands in as I drop the dice. The pitch to Jackie is a 20, and that is a walk. Lifted to center, and that's going to be Gentry, and he's going to make the catch. Got sort of a nine up, nine down thing going for Wilson so far. We've played two and a half, and we've got no score. For Texas, it'll be Gentry. At the bottom of the order. And then we go to the top with Kinsler and Andrews hoping to set some tables for the Rangers in the bottom of the third. Here's Craig. He hit 271 in 2011, and I'm still dropping dice. The pitch is a fly ball to center, and that's Jackie Bradley Jr. He's going to grab it, and that's one down. Ian Kinsler stands in. 255 on the 2011 campaign. Ian hits a ground ball to third, gloved by 
Nunez, and he's going to throw to Moreland for the out. Elvis Andrews with two outs and nobody on, hoping to get something started. And Elvis does just that with a line drive base hit to left field. He's two for two on the day. And now he might think about going. Uh, Vasquez can throw. It knocks him down to a 65. Hamilton stands in. Andrews takes his lead. And there goes Elvis. Attempted steal. He steals it on Vasquez and Sale. Stolen base for Andrews. And Hamilton with a chance to drive in a run. Now he's down in the count. No balls, one strike. Josh hit 298 with a 536 slugging percentage in 2011. And he just walked. Now Sales got himself a problem because Michael Young is up. Maybe the best pure hitter in this lineup. And 338 in 2011. Ready to do damage. There's two on, two out. Sale to the belt. Checks the runners. Andrews at second. Hamilton at first. The pitch to Mike Gull is a ground ball to second. That's Kinsler on the hop. He's going to throw to Moreland, and that'll retire the side. So the Rangers have their best threat but fail to produce. After three, we are scoreless. Top of the order coming for Boston. Betts. Ben Attendi and J.D. Martinez against C.J. Wilson, who's allowed one hit, one base runner, and that's all so far through three. Pitch to Mookie is lifted in the air to center. Gentry's coming on, and he'll make it. That's one down. Ben Attendi with one out and nobody on. 290 average for Andrew in 2018. And that's a ground ball to second to Kinsler, who gobbles it up and throws to Moreland. That's two down. And J.D. Martinez with nobody on. And two men out. 0 for 1 today for J.D. Acquired for his power, 629 slugging. And this one is lined to right. Goes the other way, and it falls in for a base hit. Now they got Bogarts coming up. Xander's also 0 for 1 on the day. JD takes his lead off first base. They're hoping Bogarts can do something productive. The pitch is an error check. We have our first error check of the game. See who they're testing. It's a 22. It's a shot at Moreland. And he makes the play on the line out. So that retires the Red Sox in the fourth. The high-powered Red Sox offense has been held at bay. We are scoreless through three and a half. And for that matter, Sale has held the high-powered Rangers offense at bay. They have not scored either, although they have had better opportunities. Beltre stands in. It'll be Beltre, Napoli, and Cruz. Adrian is one for one on the evening. He had 296 in 2011. And this one's lifted in the air to left. Ben has got room. And that's one down. Napoli stands in. Still waiting for the explosion for the fireworks. Mike hit 320 in 2011 with a 631 slugging percentage. This one lifted in the air to center, and that's Bradley who will make the catch. And Cruz with two outs and nobody on. And all sorts of power stands in. 0 for 1 in the day. He struck out back in the second. This is a base hit to center field, right up the middle, over Sale's head, and into center. And with Two outs. There's a man on first for Mitch Moreland. 259 with a 320 on base average. He's 0 for 1 today. That's ball two to Mitch. He's ahead in the count. Two balls, no strikes. Can Sale come back and get him? 
This one's a ground ball to third. Nunez gloves it and throws across to Moreland. And we've played four and settled nothing. In Texas, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We go to the fifth. Get a little bit more tense each time through. Moreland, Kinsler, and Nunez for Boston. Mitch is 0 for 1. And that's a 55, and that's an automatic strikeout. Swinging for Moreland, one down. Kinsler, 240 in 2018. But a long history of big time power for a middle infielder type as he is. And let's see where I've got to go to get this one. Okay, so Ian stands in. He's 0 for 1. And this is a rare play. We've got our first rare play of the ball game. Nobody on. 80. And that's a foul ball. Not so rare. Fan makes a nice catch. Kinsler down 0-1 to C.J. Wilson. Lifts one in the air to center, and that's CJ. That's Craig Gentry. And that's two down. Nunez stepping in. 265 for Eduardo in 2018 with a 388 slugging average. And this one is... Lifted in the air to center. That's Gentry one more time. Busy, busy guy. Last few innings, and he'll make the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. No score in Texas. Couple of high-powered offenses. Not doing much yet. First game on my pine tar table between these two. This set is available now at ttlbaseballgame.com tournaments seasons whatever you want these are the best teams of the 2010s gentry stands in the right-handed batter's box against sale craig lifts one to left and that one is an attendee one down in the ranger fifth kinsler top of the order looking to get it started and he does not. It's a ground ball to short. This one's taken by Bogarts across to Moreland, and that's two down. And Elvis Andrews, two for two with a stolen base on the day, but no runs. Two outs and nobody on for Andrews. And that is ball four. Elvis is aboard. Hamilton stands in. Elvis takes his lead. Is he going again? Is he going to try Vasquez one more time? Not this time. He's not lifted in the air to center. <coughs> Bradley will make the catch. Excuse me. And that retires the Rangers in the fifth. So, snappy ball game to this point. <clears throat> we have no score. Between two of the biggest offenses of the 2010s, you get the feeling, <coughs> excuse me, you get the feeling something's just about to happen. We're going to the sixth. It'll be Vasquez, Bradley, and Betts for Boston. <coughs> the bees are wild. And Vasquez stands in. He's 0 for 1 today. Wilson doing a fine job against this offense. Lifted in the air to center. Gentry, one more time. Backs up a few and makes the catch. Jackie Bradley Jr. Against C.J. Wilson. That's lined back up the middle. And Jackie's aboard with a base hit. He's got some wheels himself if they choose to use them try and get something going napoli is a minus eight see if they want to send jackie bats coming to the plate one for two today for mookie 
And here comes the pitch, and there goes Bradley Jr., and he's safe. He stole it off Napoli and Wilson. So a stolen base, Mookie Betts took a strike, and it's 0-1 to Betts. One for two today, looking to drive Bradley in with the Red Sox first run. The pitch. Strike three swinging. Wilson gets him, and that'll leave it up to Ben Attendi. Bradley's still on second with two outs now. Ben Attendi is 0 for 2 with a killer double play in the first inning. This one is lined to left. Hamilton makes a nice running catch, and that'll retire the Red Sox. They have a chance, but they fail to produce after five and a half. We are scoreless in Texas. For the Rangers in the bottom of the sixth. It's, sorry, it's Michael Young, Adrian Beltre, Mike Napoli against Sale. And that is lined, and that's trouble. It's in the gap, and it's going to split Jackie Bradley Jr. and Mookie Betts. Bradley will get there first, but Michael Young has himself a leadoff double in the sixth. Beltre would love to break the scoreless tie as he stands in against Sale. 296 for Adrian in 2011. And that's trouble. That's deep. Left center field Bradley to the wall and it's gone Elvis has left the building Chris Sale not happy and the Rangers are pleased and proud to have a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the sixth Mike Napoli comes to the plate the Red Sox bullpen is going to get active Napoli stands in 0 for 2 with a strikeout on the evening we have an error check. See who the Red Sox have going. This is at Kinsler. Line drive, Kinsler makes the grab for the first out. Sale giving up shots all over the diamond. And now Nelson Cruz stands in. 263, but a 509 slugging percentage. One for two on the day with a strikeout. And Cruz just unloaded. It's deep to left. Ben Attendi to the wall. And it's gone. Elvis has left the building. And it's 3 nothing Rangers. And here comes Alex Cora. And that's going to be it for Chris Sale. With Mitch Moreland coming to the plate. Let's see who the Let's see who the Red Sox are going to call upon here. Try and put out the fire. It's going to be Hector Velasquez. Hector Velasquez will be on to replace Sale who suddenly tired in the 6. Give you Chris's numbers on the evening. Sale went five and a third innings. Uh, had base runners in every inning. He allowed seven hits. He walked two. He struck out only two. He allowed three runs, and they're all earned. And Hector Velasquez is going to try and calm things down here. As you can see, he is a B on the road, which the Red Sox are in this game. He does not have strikeout or walk modifiers, and he has a maximum innings pitched out of the bullpen of two. So let's see if he can do some semi-long man duties here. One out in the bottom of the sixth. The Rangers have scored three times, and Moreland at the plate. He's 0 for 2. Pitch to Mitch. Ground ball Kinsler on several hops. He'll throw to Moreland, and that is two down. And Craig Gentry will stand in. 
And Craig strikes out swinging for out number three, but the Rangers score three in the bottom of the sixth, ignite their fans, <clears throat> and send C.J. Wilson back to the mound with a nice little cushion, which is important because in the top of the seventh, C.J. will face the heart of the Red Sox order, J.D. Martinez, Xander Bogarts, and Mitch Moreland. Let's see what J.D. has to offer. He's one for two against Wilson today. Wilson working on a shutout. This one is strike three called. Martinez doesn't like it, but the call will stand as they usually do. One down in the seventh for Boston. Bogart stands in. 288 on the 2018 season. And that's called strike three. Oh, I'm wrong. You know, I'm right. Called strike three. Bogart's two down. That is Wilson's fifth on the day. And Moreland stands in. 0 for 2 himself on the evening. The pitch to Mitch, ground ball first, gloved by Moreland. He's going to take it himself. And Wilson has pitched seven shutout innings. We'll see if he comes out for the eighth, but he's cruising at this point. 3 nothing Rangers over the 2018 Red Sox. Leading off for the Rangers in the bottom of the seventh will be Ian Kinsler and then Elvis Andrews and then Josh Hamilton. Kinsler stands in with a 355 on base average in the 2011 season, but 0 for 3 this evening. The pitch to Kinsler is a walk. Walked him, and that's not what Manager Alex Cora wanted to see from his bullpen. Andrew stands in. Two hits and a walk on Elvis' evening. Kinsler takes his lead. See if they're going to put a play on. They don't. The pitch to Andrews is a ground ball to short. That's Bogarts, Kinsler, Moreland, and the Red Sox turn a double play in the seventh. Josh Hamilton with two outs and nobody on. Josh is over two with a walk today. He'd love to drive something. And that is a strikeout swinging. So Velasquez walks Kinsler to get the inning started, comes back, gets a double play ball and a strikeout. To finish things up in the seventh, we go to the eighth, and time is running short for the 2018 Red Sox. The 2011 Rangers hold a 3 0 lead, and we're going to the top of the eighth. It's Kinsler, Nunez, and Vasquez. There are no hits on the evening between any of those three gentlemen. They're all 0 for 2. Ian stands in against CJ. And that is a ground ball to short. Andrews throws to Moreland, and that's one down. Nunez ready to go with his 289 on base average. 0 for 2 on the evening. Wilson's retired the last six in a row. That ought to jinx it, and sure enough, it did. That's a base hit to left. Nunez is aboard with one out. With one out, Nunez is aboard. Let's see if Ron Washington wants to get any action going in the bullpen. And he does. It's going to be Darren Oliver and Mike Adams, a lefty and a righty double-barreled action going for 
the Rangers in the bottom of the eighth. There's one out. Nunez on first. Vasquez is due. They will hit for him. Much as I love Christian, love that glove, love that arm, don't love that bat. And let's see who they might call up to do some hitting. It's going to be Steve Pierce. Steve Pierce will pinch hit for Christian Vasquez. Vasquez's day, he was 0 for 2. Pierce comes on, 284 in 2018. Pitch to Steve. Is an error check. It's an error check for Texas. 12 is a shot at Moreland. He does not make the play, and that is going to be an error. That's going to be a tough error, but an error nonetheless. Pierce is aboard on the E3, and suddenly the Red Sox bring the tying run to the plate. That's going to do it, although he deserved a better fate. That's going to do it for C.J. Wilson as Ron Washington is coming to the mound, and he's, bringing, he's calling for Darren Oliver. to come on and relieve Wilson. So, we'll give you Wilson's numbers on the day. Seven and a third for CJ. Four hits, all singles. He walked none, and he struck out four. Yeah, four. So, he leaves with two men on both his responsibility. Nunez and Pierce are both on, and that means Jackie Bradley Jr. represents the tying run. Adams is still throwing in the Texas bullpen. And Scott Feldman has joined him. All right, so let's see what they want to do here. Bradley steps in. One for two with a stolen base on the day. Jackie represents the tying run. Pitch is a range. No, it's not. He's hit by a pitch. He is hit by a pitch, and he will take his base. The Red Sox have loaded the bases off Ranger pitching in the eighth. They trail by three, and with a chance to do some serious damage, we're back to the top of the order, and it's Mookie Betts. Mike Adams is getting the call by Ron Washington to come in and face Betts. Adams, the right-hander, as you can see, is an A-plus at home. He has strikeout modifiers on rolls of 55 through 60 and 77. So he's tough. He's the real deal, and he's on to face the real deal. Mookie Betts hit 346 in 2018. He was on base 438, and he had a 640 slugging percentage. This guy could give the Red Sox the lead in a hurry. One out, Nunez on third, Pierce on second, Bradley on first, Betts at the plate. The pitch home is a comebacker to Adams. It's a comebacker. Adams whirls. Well, I got to look this up.
I gotta look this up. I don't want to get this wrong. Adams has gloved it. We know that. Um. <laughs> yeah, so here's what we get. Uh, Adams goes... Adams goes to home to Napoli. And that's all they're going to get. So they force the out at home. Sliding is Nunez, but he is out on the play at the plate. Score that one to two. The bases remain loaded. And Benatendi comes to the plate. So it, now it's Pierce on third, Bradley on second, and Betts on first with two outs and Benatendi coming up. Adams stays on. Feldman still throwing in the bullpen. Benatendi is 0 for 3 on the day. And that's a 36. He struck him out, and the Rangers get out of a bases loaded with one out situation. The Red Sox score nothing. Wow. That is nothing short of amazing. The Rangers pitching has totally shut down so far the Red Sox attack here in Texas. So, we're going to get a new pitcher for the Red Sox in the bottom of the eighth, whose job will be to hold them right where they're at. He will face Young, Beltre, and Napoli. And it's going to be Matt Barnes, right-hander. Uh, we will give you Velasquez's numbers. We also will have a new catcher in the bottom. Of the eighth and the new catcher. Will be Blake Swihart. Swihart in for Vasquez. After the Pierce pinch hit. So Swihart bats eighth. Pierce is done for the day. Michael Young will once more lead off the inning for Texas. It'll be Young, Beltre, and Napoli for the Rangers as they look to add some insurance in the bottom of the eighth. Michael is one for three with a double and a run scored. He leads off the bottom of the eighth against Barnes. Matt is an A pitcher on the road. He has modifiers of strikeouts on 55 through 60 and 77 and a maximum innings pitched of one in this one. That's a 31 and Michael Young draws a walk. He's aboard with nobody out. Adrian Beltre comes to the plate. He had a two-run bomb to put the Rangers on the board in the sixth. He's two for three. And of course, he has scored a run. Pitch to Adrian is an 81. That's lifted to center field, and that is Bradley. Four, one down, and Napoli Strides to the plate on the heels of his 0-3 evening with a strikeout. And that's a second strikeout. We got a 77, which is an automatic on Barnes's card. Struck out swinging and Nelson Cruz with two outs and Young still on first base. 
Nelson is two for three today with a solo homer and a strikeout. And an 89 is lifted to left. That's Ben Attendee, who's got plenty of room and gloves it for out number three in the eighth. We are going to the ninth. We've got a save situation. And the Rangers have a 3 nothing lead. So... The heart of the Boston order is coming on. It's Neftali Feliz, who's on to try and close things out here. He is a B at home. He's got some control issues, but he's ready to go against right-handers Martinez, Bogarts, and then the left-hander Moreland. Adams pitched two-thirds of an inning with one strikeout, no hits, no runs, and no home runs, and no walks for him in the eighth. So we go to the ninth. C.J. Wilson is in line for the victory if Feliz can close the door. It'll be Martinez, the third place hitter, Bogarts, and then Moreland in the Red Sox ninth. Ground ball second base, Kinsler is gonna throw to Moreland and that's one down. One up, one down in the Red Sox ninth. Bogarts stands in, 288 on the 2018 season. He's 0 for three on the evening with a strikeout. And Xander has lined this one fair. And into center, he's going to hustle into second for a double as Gentry is casual about getting it back in. So with, with one out, Bogarts is on second. Moreland is coming to the plate. Mitch is over three with a strikeout today. Pitch to Mitch is trouble, and that's a base hit to left. Base hit to left, Hamilton gloves it. Bogarts around third, he will score, and the throw comes into second base to keep the double play in order. Three to one now. Rangers still lead with one out in the ninth. Kinsler is due. 0 for 3 today for Ian. And they're looking for some punch on the bench. And they're not seeing a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> they're going to let him bat. Moreland on first. Kinsler 0 for 3. There's one man out and one in. Ground ball. Andrews. Kinsler, Moreland, double play, Rangers win. 3-1 over the Red Sox. So, let's look at the line scores. For the victorious 2011 Texas Rangers, three runs on seven hits, and they committed one error for the vanquished 2018 Boston Red Sox. One run and kind of a scratch run at that. Uh, six hits and they committed no errors. The winning pitcher, C.J. Wilson... The losing pitcher, Chris Sale, and the save goes to Neftali Feliz in this one. We're using the best of the 2010s Pine Tar set just released this week to play this game. It's available right now at ttlbaseballgame.com. 
These 10 teams are part of that set. The 2010 Giants, the 2011 Rangers, the 2012 Orioles, the 2014 Angels, the 2016 Cubs, the 2017 Dodgers, the 2018 Red Sox, the 2018 Brewers, the 2019 Astros, and the 2019 Nationals are all part of this set. This was fun today. We thought we'd have a slugfest, and instead we got a tense pitcher's duel. Good stuff. Uh, hope you check out the set. Hope you check out Pine Tar Baseball at ttlbaseballgame.com. My name's Kurt Berglund. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. The Dodgers from 2017 are going to visit the Giants from 2010 in my next game. Hope you'll join me. So long, everybody.